Hi, this is David Tubbs from the Greater Kitchen Waterloo Chamber of Commerce, and in this social media tutorial video, we're going to be talking about Hootsuite and other Twitter dashboards. Now, Hootsuite and Twitter and other Twitter dashboards are a third-party interface that helps track multiple streams of information coming from Twitter accounts and other social networks as well. It allows for multiple displays of information based upon the type of stream, whether it be people you are actually following, people who are mentioning you, your direct message inbox, and also your sent messages. What makes it even better is the ability to track keywords. Just like in Google, you can input some keywords of any kind and it'll help track them. This doesn't. This means that you can actually find information that isn't based upon just a hashtag. It also allows the ability to analyze metrics. So you can actually find out who's talking about you, who's clicking on your links, where they're from, and how that interaction is actually being taken. In it, Hootsuite itself is also a one-stop shop for social media management. It, it goes beyond Twitter. You can even track and maintain your accounts on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Foursquare. It's a very broad reaching piece of software. Now one of the biggest contentions with these third party interfaces is what do you choose? Do you, the two biggest names in it are Hootsuite and TweetDeck. Uh, Hootsuite is a browser based dashboard that, that I actually use personally and while TweetDeck is a downloadable piece of software. This means that Hootsuite you can access from any computer anywhere, while TweetDeck is limited to the computer that the software is actually on. That's what makes Hootsuite just a little more nimble from your day-to-day -day use. Hootsuite also allows for more than just Twitter, as I mentioned before. You can actually track and maintain all of your accounts on Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare, WordPress, and there are even more in addition to that. And just a little bit of background information. TweetDeck was recently bought by Twitter in the middle of 2011, and some believe that the purchase was a way for Twitter to eliminate a bit of competition because you are finding more and more people aren't even going on Twitter.com. They're using the third party dashboards because of their effectiveness. In the most recent Twitter update, you actually saw a little bit more integration of the information that these third party dashboards help pioneer. And it does make a lot of sense because they do want to keep that competition limited. As I mentioned, I personally use Hootsuite, and that is the one I enjoy using because it is a little more nimble, it has great interfaces, it's free, just like TweetDeck. Now how to use Hootsuite. Hootsuite is very easy to follow. Anybody who's used any type of dashboard anywhere will be able to follow the Hootsuite dashboard. Now this is what a Hootsuite interface will look like. Now this is the Greater Kitchen Waterloo Chamber of Commerce feed. So you have your home feed of all the people that you are actively following and they will update in real time as they are posted, usually in bunches. Uh, and it, it, this is the stream for people who have mentioned you and you can track that all the way down and you will see the links, the Twitter handles and also any hashtags that happen to be used in it as well such as the 140 Conference of Ontario there. And as you scroll farther to the right you'll see the other streams that I've added such as the keyword searching which is very important for brand recognition and tracking. So I've started tracking anybody who mentions Kitchener Waterloo Chamber in any of their tweets so they may might not have actually ever used uh, the Twitter handle of the chamber which is GKWCC but mention that it's the Kitchener Waterloo Chamber such as any of these posts you see here and also a couple of keywords that I actively like to search and find interesting people in the community to talk to, whether it be they mention KW Awesome or WR Awesome for Waterloo Region Awesome. And as you can see up here at the top, these are the other Twitter accounts that I have access to and I use. 
such as my personal one and the Chamber Young Professional tab. This means that if I click on these tabs, it'll bring up all of their information as well. So say you wanted to actually type out a message of some kind. It's very easy, just like on Twitter.com. Type out your message, and then say you wanted to schedule it. You press the little scheduling calendar here, and you can select the date, specify the time, and it also has a bulk message uploader. Um, if you wanted to attach a link and shrink it to an hourly link, um, that can be done there. And you can also specify what type of shortened link you want, whether it's any of these. And also attach a document, whether you want to attach a photo or upload a, a, a PDF of some kind or a Word file for people to pull and download as well. And at this point, everything here is free. You didn't, you don't have to pay a single dime for it. Um, one thing I will suggest is if you do set up multiple accounts on your Hootsuite interface, be pay very particular attention to which account you're actually sending a message out to. You don't want to mix up the messages for two different companies or two different types of personalities that you have set up on Twitter. Now the important features for a business when it comes to uh, a third-party interface like Hootsuite is the ability to track analytics and the detailed metrics that you need on a day-to-day -day basis. This means that you can track the people who are clicking on your links, showing the interaction, the growth beyond just tracking your number of followers because that no longer really counts for much. It's tracking the interactions that you have to help quantify some type of real data that backs up the time that you put into it. And for the most part, Hootsuite does this the basic information for free. It's a very small payment if you want to do more, but it's very measurable. And it also allows you to schedule posts. So if you have one thing you want to talk about that's never going to change. You can post it on a regular basis because you do have to under, you you have to understand that when you tweet something out, you may only be hitting five to ten percent of your followers at any given time because of the free flowing information. People aren't looking at it all the time, and unless they are actively following you in particular and tracking everything you talk about, it's unlikely that you're going to get even 50% of your followers once you get to a certain point. It also helps with the hourly shortened links that I mentioned before when I went over the interface. Um, document uploads, PDFs, and picture uploads. It's very easy to upload the information from your desktop at any time as opposed to any other interaction you would have with Twitter.com. Now keyword tracking is one of the hallmarks of what makes Hootsuite and other Twitter dashboards like Tweet deck important helps you brand monitor a lot better because you can input the keywords for say Kitchener Waterloo Chamber as opposed to the GKWCC Twitter handle that we have. So people might be talking about the chamber but have no idea what our Twitter handle is. So either you can track the information they're talking about or talk right back at them and then use your Twitter handle at the same time so you can get another follower that way. It, it makes it very easy to find out where your marketing is going based upon the tracking that you're looking at. And of course, time savings. Everybody's busy. Small to medium-sized business owners are always time-strapped. So what the third-party interface allows you to do is cut down what normally would probably take 20 minutes into anywhere from 10 to 12, depending on how much information you want to get out and put in to your social networks like Twitter. I stand by using Hootsuite for anything Twitter related. I rely upon it all the time and suggest you just try it out. You don't have to really delve into it deeply, but creating the interface, understanding how it works will help you no matter what. Now thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to watch the other videos in the Social Media Starter Kit and Social Media and Marketing Tutorial videos that I've created. Uh, if you ever have a question or a suggestion topic that you want me to cover, just feel free to shoot me an email or tweet at me. And thank you for watching.